were steel bands and calypso. The champagne flowed all night, and a dinner was served which took two days to prepare. The guest list was star-studded, and Peter de Savary, owner of the St. James's Club, spent over $100,000 on a party celebrating the opening of his new Caribbean pleasure palace. From the five... There was Liza Minnelli looking radiant with producer husband Mark Giro, and gorgeous Anne Margaret with husband of 20 years, Roger Smith. For Joan, whose dynasty schedule and commercial commitments keep her active non-stop, a getaway to sunny Antigua was a delightful opportunity to relax, regroup, and announce her decision to remarry, or at least, to my surprise, get engaged. It might be me happy. Equally happy with Antigua and the St. James's Club were two of my old friends. I asked what brought them to this paradise. The first time I found out about it <clears throat> was in when the St. James Club opened in London. And uh, I supported it because I thought it was a really nice hotel. It was very small and very private. And uh, so I got behind it because I liked it. And then when I found out that they were opening, that Peter was opening the St. James Club here, it just seemed too good to miss. <laughs> So I walloped on down. It was good to see Liza again, looking so tan, healthy, and so obviously happy. Later, she renewed an old friendship with another club member, Sir John Mills. Before I could ask Anne Margaret about her first day on the beach, Roger Smith put us in the picture. A lot of laughter, a lot of relaxation. We went uh, touring today. We saw all the things, and it's wonderful. You can see the entire island in about two hours. Um, I love the people here. They're so friendly, and uh, they want you to have a good time and relax. The party ended with a bang, thanks to a dazzling fireworks display by the same London team that lit up the sky for Prince Charles's wedding. And for once, even my work stopped, and the fun began. Why is it that we all love fireworks? We all become five years old when the fireworks come up. I've always loved them. I always said that instead of having a a funeral, I want a big fireworks display. <laughs> no doubt about it, the superstars of...